So, how much water does your body actually need every day? Now, there's a lot of myths out there about this, and I'm just going to take them apart a little bit. Uh, one myth is that you should have eight glasses of water every day. Another myth is you should only drink if you're thirsty. Another myth is if you're uh, feeling thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Uh, the average advice that I would say is probably a good idea is to drink two liters of water every day. So let's look at this eight glasses of water a day myth. So if you were to drink uh, eight glasses of water a day, you're going to be drinking eight times about 600 milliliters. Right? So that's at least four liters, almost five. Now, if you're going to have eight cups, which is 250 milliliters, that's different. That works out to be two liters. Now again, two liters is a pretty good thing to aim for, but when you actually sit there and imagine eating eight glasses, say I have eight glasses in a restaurant or you, uh, you know, 600 mil glass, which is sort of your average size of a uh, serving glass um, around the dinner table, you're drinking way too much water. And I'll explain why that's dangerous. So if you were to drink more than 3000 milliliters or more than three liters of water a day, what can happen is that will decrease the amount of sodium in your blood. And when sodium goes down, what's gonna happen is your aldosterone is a hormone that regulates blood sodium and a few other things is going to go up. Now that's a normal regulatory mechanism and we're lucky to have that. But if you're drinking 3,000 or more milliliters of water a day, three liters a day, uh, and you're sweating a lot because you're working really hard, that's going to be fine because as long as you're losing those extra liters as perspiration, you're never going to have too much what we call free water in your body. Now if you're a person who say, then this is fairly typical, you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to use a lot of water to you know, satiate your appetite so you don't feel hungry, so you can get those uh, fat loss goals, uh, you're gonna be chronically uh, having too much free water in your body. You're gonna have chronically low sodium in your blood and chronically elevated aldosterone. Now, in the long term, this is actually dangerous because uh, all of your hormones are made of the same molecules. And basically, if you're producing too much aldosterone every day, all day, just to keep your you know, blood working properly, this is gonna steal away certain molecules that make other hormones possible. And this can actually interfere with the regulation of proper sex hormones like testosterone, progesterone, uh, and the three estrogens. And it can also limit your ability to respond to stress because the same molecule that makes your stress hormones makes this, right? So again, too much water, too much of a hormone that's actually meant to be, you know, moderately used and a negative impact on the rest of your hormonal health. So too much water is a bad idea. Now, with respect to the myth that anytime you feel thirsty, you're dehydrated, that's sometimes possibly true, but quite often it's true for other reasons. You can feel thirsty because you've overeaten things like protein, which requires more water to metabolize. Uh, you've had too many salty things in your diet, uh, too many spicy things, other things that cause things to swell up, which you know absorbs water. So it's just to give you that sense that that's not always true, but I think it's a good idea if you are thirsty to drink water. So I'm gonna kind of get into what actually makes the most sense around drinking water. So I would say two liters is probably the best thing to aim for. In fact, when I'm getting my patients to focus on proper water consumption, I ask them to lay out uh, four 500 milliliter containers of water. Now, if you like your water cool, leave it in the fridge. Um, if you have chlorinated water, this is a good idea because this allows the chlorine to boil off. So you're not ingesting chlorine because that's not actually very good for you. So let's say you have two liters or 2000 milliliters of water a day. The optimal thing to do is to actually try and have the first liter within the first two hours of the, the day. So you're gonna have one liter, right? In that first two hours. Now this takes some practice and it takes a while for your body to get used to. So if you're gonna to commit to this, and I, as a clinician, would really encourage you to give this a try for at least a few weeks. For the first probably week, you're gonna to need to go to the bathroom a lot in the morning because your body isn't used to metabolizing water that way. And you wanna make sure you're giving your, yourself some time, maybe 15 minutes before you have breakfast and about a half hour after you have breakfast uh, in terms of when you're drinking your pre-poured uh, 500 milliliters and 500 milliliters of water. Right? You can have some warm, some cool, some with a bit of lemon juice, however you like. The important thing is to try and get that into your body in that first two hours. Now, of course, you're asking why. The simple reason why is that for almost all of human evolution, we've been migratory scavenging hunter-gatherers. And if you've ever been out in the bush without any kind of real sort of camping equipment, 
Um, the hardest thing you can actually do, or the most difficult thing that, that I've found in, in my experience out in the bush, is moving water around. So historically, what most people would do, make a camp near water, wake up, gather up your belongings, drink as much water as you think you're going to need, and then walk perhaps over a mountain or you know, a few hills or across a, you know, a prairie or something to the next possible water source. Because the easiest place to carry water is inside your body. Because unless you're a, a wilderness survival expert, um, making the kind of containers you would need to carry enough water around is very, very challenging. So again, you know, for two million, three million years, the vaster part of our evolutionary history, we either stayed by water or drank water in the morning and carried it around the inside to, to get to the next place we were going to camp up. So on an adaptive level, evolutionary level, your body is designed to use water that way. And there's actually very uh, few uh, hospital research studies going on where they're actually getting patients with kidney disease, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, um, <clears throat> certain psychiatric conditions to drink water with that pattern and the results are actually fairly astounding. So good to know. So now I'm gonna get into exactly how you can find out exactly how much water you would need every day based on your metabolism, your weight, and the kind of work you do. So in fact, the easiest way to find out the amount of water that you need, again individually, is to commit a 24 hour period of time, preferably when you're gonna be at home, and you're gonna have a container sitting probably on the back of your toilet. I recommend writing not apple juice on the container in case you live with other people and they're wondering why there's a bunch of you know, yellow fluid sitting in a container uh, in the bathroom. But anyway, um, throughout a 24 hour period, you're gonna to wanna to pee in this you know, picture um, and see how much you're actually uh, expressing every day based on your diet, because there's a lot of water in your food, especially if you eat a lot of vegetables. Um, you know, if you're drinking other kinds of beverages and you know, right now we're doing this experiment with how much uh, water your body needs. So hopefully you're drinking the two liters of water that I recommend every day. And again, preferably that first liter in the first two hours. Now, if you're you know, doing this experiment and on the first 24 hour period, you only get a thousand milliliters of water out, that's considered safe, but not optimal. If you're expressing less than a liter of water a day, your body's technically uh, damaging itself a little bit. Uh, if you're expressing more than a 1500 milliliters of water, you're not drinking like an excessive amount, but you're actually drinking more than your body needs. So a little bit of a weird experiment, but if you can get a container, make sure no one else is gonna either pee in it or drink it, um, and find out how much wa uh, water you need to intake, again, based on diet and lifestyle and other things, to express 1500 milliliters of water every day, well, you just found out what your optimal water intake is. So I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below. Please like and share uh, the video because it's good to have this stuff out there for everybody. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be making about 300 videos in the next year uh, with lots of little cool tidbits and facts that are gonna help you uh, regain optimal health. So have a great day.